Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Thank you guys for tuning in to my last what I wore in a week as a tall woman. I am going to do another one. I actually like it because most of you guys do not follow me on Instagram so it would be a good idea for you to see how I dress and how I actually pretty much take regular brands and make them work for me. So. I don't want to forget anything so I'm looking down at my phone guys so you guys can get the full full picture of what I am wearing. I am going to pop in a photo and I'm trying to see which way will be better maybe over here for you guys to see it. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So on Monday I decided to wear so most of the stuff that I wore last well not all of it some of the stuff I did wear that I purchased from Zara. All right, let me let me just backtrack. For my new subscribers, I am six feet tall, and growing up, I never really shopped tall girl brands. It was just not something that I knew about. So I've always been the tall girl who made regular brands work for her. Even if I have to get them tailored, even if I have to buy two of something and get my tailor to um, put you know put things together. As an example, I have three pair of pants that I purchased from Favorite Daughter and I took them over to her to get them tailored. Just a little tweaking in the front because as you guys know, I am more slim than uh, shapely over here. <laughs> so I'm slim around the waist area so the pants were fine but I just wanted her to tweak them just a little bit to give me a better fit for my body type. So. Those are the things that I have to do, especially shopping regular brands. I also purchased something else, and you guys will see that in another video, um, from Express. The blazer was nice. The sleeves was just too short for me, so I am going to get them cropped like I get all of my other jackets cropped if I don't like it. I do not mind cropped blazers, especially if it's something uh, maybe like spring, summer-ish, um, because I have really good leather blazers from Lamarck that fit really well so I know when and where to do the tailoring and when not to do the tailoring <laughs> um so I'm gonna jump right into it outfit number one I have on a pair of old Zara they're old palazzo pants in a size large and I have on an Aritzia top under that with my Levi denim shirt jacket for those of you guys who knew who knows that I actually showed this item in a video it's very thick it's more than a shirt it's more like a jacket in my opinion but I really really like it because it's super oversized and I believe I got an extra large in that and that's from Levi I got it from here in Georgia at the at Sugarloaf Mills actually it was a really really nice shirt and then I have my Monster Garviel bag my key high key glasses Listen, those shades are very cheap. Let me not say that. Because to some it's not uh, affordable. I'm just going to say they're affordable for those women who spend like $500 on glasses, right? But I got a lot of course per wear out of them. I really like them because they're large on my face. Um, my Monta Garbio bag. And I actually have on a pair of <sighs> Sam Edelman thong sandals. I have every color probably in here. I keep them for the days where I don't want to wear a heel or I don't want to wear a slide. I just want all my toes out. So I keep those. They're kind of cheap as far as price, um, but they're good quality. I like them a lot. So that was Monday. Tuesday, I have on another pair of key glasses. I think I've showed those, shown those before. Those are the Sweetie Collab, and that top is actually from Zara, and so are the pants, guys. So the entire outfit is from Zara. And again, six feet tall, I made it work for me. I have on my Jimmy Choo slides. I really like those slides, guys. <laughs> They're just so comfortable. I'm so glad that I got them. Um, and my Monster Garvio bag and like the taupe color. And I have on my, I call them like Indian earrings because I got them from like an Indian shop, which I absolutely love. If you are looking for, and I, hopefully it's not like, I doubt it's like, cultural appropriation because they sell it but they're very pretty they're like like chandelier style earrings very very pretty I call them Indian earrings because I always see like um, Indian women wear these type of earrings love them love them 
Um, and I kept it kind of chill. That shirt is, the material of that shirt is kind of like windbreaker. So sweating is a thing if you sweat a lot. If you don't sweat a lot, you won't have the issue. So that is Tuesday. Wednesday, I wore my favorite daughter pants. Um, I did not tailor them in this photo, but I did take them to her today just to tweak it. So we're going to figure out. Today I went to her. I said, okay, we're going to change the pleating on it, right? But I think what I'm going to do is I was going to take the pleats out and like bring it in a little bit, but I still want the pleats in there. So I'm going to go back to her and to told her to just wait. Um, until Monday and then I'll kind of go because it got really really crowded this guy came in there with his suit And he wanted to just get his stuff done in one day and I was just like I'm I'll come back Monday So I'll show you guys that but I wore those here. They're a 34 inch inseam um, It's about two inches of inseam extra that I can pull down So I told her I can do both of them if I needed to she's like you don't really need to right now But if you want to you can um and I have on a Zara denim top. That Zara denim top is so cute, guys. You guys have seen it in my Zara video. So I actually got to wear it with a pair of trousers. I got an extra large. I probably could have gotten... No, because that other one was kind of tight. This one is cool. Like, if I wanted to get it taken in, I could just a smidge it. Um, but I think it's okay. And my slides are my Zara white slides that I just purchased. They're those classic slides that they always have. I got them in white and in black now. For whatever reason, the black just seems a little bit more snug. They don't feel the same. The white ones feel like my feet sliding in. You guys know I got some wide feet. They slide right on there. So now I have the black ones over there with the shoe stretcher in them just to stretch them just a tad bit. They were fine on my feet, but they definitely do not feel like the white ones. Um, so yeah, so I wore that on Wednesday with my white Monster Gabrielle bag and I have on my black high key. Actually, do I have on my high key glasses or do I have on, I might have on, I don't know. Either high key or these Fendi ones. So that's Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday is it. <laughs> Thursday I have on a pair of, um, those are Zara pants. Let me just double check guys. Are those Zara? Yes, those are Zara. I took those to the tailor as well. So I wore them. They were fitting fine. But those are a lot softer than my original Zara jeans that I wore them a few videos ago. Um, the other jeans are very denim. Like, no stretch, no nothing. These are a little bit softer. So I felt like after wearing them throughout the day that they kind of loosened up around the waist and I did get a size 12. Now the reason why I got a 12 is because if I go smaller it's going to be too tight around my stomach and guys you know I do not always wear <laughs> shapewear sometimes I just want to let it hang. So I did get them tailored. Now being that I wore the darker ones first and I never wore the lighter ones when I went today she showed me the light ones they were done but I'm just like I'm hoping that I took them in enough because I didn't wear them yet and I'm sure they're going to loosen up on me so we'll see we'll see once I get those back but I should be getting I want to say everything Friday maybe if I go to her Monday she may be able to do the trousers not too sure yet but I'll keep you guys posted on the express stuff and the Zara jeans so I also have on a Zara dang that whole outfit is Zara too <laughs> that's a Zara um Bustier, I like that one is ruching around the stomach area if you do not care about your stomach like the shirt being flat it, it is ruching around the waist area then I have on my Gucci trunk bag I purchased that at the outlet in Florida I have a video on that matter, matter of fact I'll probably link that video that's when I went to the outlets those outlets out there well that outlet is nice and let me see what else I have on Oh, here is what I have on my, um, what do I have on here? Oh, I have on my Fendi glasses here. I actually have my Fendi's. And then the earrings, the earrings are from an African vendor in New York. I have not found one here in Georgia. Because if I can, 
oh it is on they have the best brass jewelry they their stuff is just great great quality i don't know if it's because i was in new york but they definitely have great quality so if you're finding that you're looking for really good quality accessories do not sleep on vendors guys don't sleep on vendors um and for those of you guys who are from new york you know how back in the day the Muslims used to sell like the bangles and stuff that never turned. Um, but yeah, so that was, what is that, Thursday. Friday, I have on some Zara. Oh, actually, sorry, let me backtrack. On my feet, I have on my Sam Edelman, not Sam Edelman, Stuart Weitzman. I think they're called Naily Nude Sandals. They just have a nice strap across the top. They are uh, patent leather. So it's not a nude like my color, but they are nude. Um, and then Friday, I have on my Koss skirt. Love that skirt to death. Great quality. Um, the top is actually from Kohl's. And I have on my high key glasses again, my Versace bag, and the black sandals from Zara. Now, again, those are just a little bit more snug. I don't, I think I know why. Like the last time I brought the other two, they were made in different places. And the leather was completely different on them. So, I know that the cream ones that I purchased are a lot softer than the brown ones. So I guess they just send them out and get them made in different places, not too sure. Um, but that's all that I wore for that day. And then today I have on the white Zara sandal slides. I went to do some running around, a mango denim skirt, and I have on an oversized white shirt from Banana Republic. It's kind of like a little, it's like linen-like, <laughs> but I like it a lot. It's very, very oversized, and I just have on some simple gold earrings from Valerie, and I had on this beautiful bag, and this is an old bag, guys. One thing about me, I ain't giving nothing away, okay? If it's outdated to some, it ain't outdated to me. This is why I say you, got, you have to go your own way when it comes to fashion and style, especially if you can't just automatically go ahead and buy trendy stuff. You may not even like the trendy stuff. So sometimes it doesn't even, it's not even worth throwing your stuff away or even selling it. So this bag was staying here forever. And I had this bag for some years, guys, some years, but it's still in really, really great condition. And that's it guys. So those are everything that I wore this week. As a tall girl, realistically, this is what I am wearing during the week. If I am going out, that is something different. And I'll probably do a video on that as well, showing you guys what I wear as a tall girl going out or maybe outfits for an event. Let me know what you guys want to see because I need to get this channel moving with the fashion for the tall girls. We are left behind because the designers do not cater to us guys. So let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys for joining. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my personal style service, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.